Hello you guys, I wanted to do another journal with me video. I did one earlier this month and I really enjoyed doing it. I really enjoy the process and showing you guys the process of how I journal and how I just show up here. And of course, I want to invite you guys to get out your journal, get out your notebook, your Google Docs, ho however you choose to reflect and make a little porter portal for yourself. And open it up and I will probably put some little journal prompts down here um, on the bottom just like my last video but you can also just do a stream of consciousness which just kind of means to write everything that you're thinking whether it's scattered or not and whether it's important to you or not and you could also just draw, you could also just watch this to try and go to sleep or to have some company for something else that you're doing, like making some sort of art or craft or something like that. But I really do encourage you to journal because it is so beneficial and so wonderful and you're never going to regret documenting your life in some capacity. So today is the 20th. I always start by writing the date. I'm thinking I've been using this pen for a while. It's the Pentel RSVP B, RSVP BK90 fine, but I haven't used my lucky pen in a long time. And I'm thinking maybe today is the day that I use it because I am in need of some luck. All right. I do miss this pen a lot. I really enjoy using it. I am probably going to do just a short little journal entry because I don't have much to talk about and then I'll do a little do doodle or something like that with you guys and maybe I'll show you my past few doodles slash journal entries just to give you an idea of what you can write. But I'm going to write... If you watched my last journal with me video, you saw um, or you heard me say that I've been trying to challenge myself to start every journal entry with a word that isn't I, and I'm still doing that. So it does take me a little bit to form the first sentence usually. Sleeping or the lack thereof is my biggest trial right now. It's like I'm afraid. of the moment between consciousness and unconsciousness. Okay, I'm just going to continue journaling until I'm done with documenting my day. So I invite you guys to journal while I'm journaling. I'll probably play a little bit of guitar in the voiceover for you guys to listen to something. But I'm just going to journal until I'm done and then get to a little doodle.
was just writing notes on something I was working on yesterday. And now I'm going to write a little doodle, or draw a little doodle to go right here. And I'm thinking in purple. I've been really liking purple lately, like a lot. I'm not exactly sure what I want to draw. I'm thinking maybe... Um... What should it be? I think I'm just gonna come up with a silly little character for now. I don't really feel like putting much thought into it, to be honest. Because I am so deathly tired. I have been struggling with sleep a lot lately, actually. I haven't been able to fall asleep until the hours... Between the hours of 4am and 10am. And it's been really, really, really ruining my um, motivation for a lot of things. And I just feel awful. I look awful. I just am not doing well at all. So if you guys have any suggestions for um, how to help me fall asleep, then don't be afraid to comment them, of course, but also no pressure to do that at all. Please just get your journaling done and just be present in the moment if you can. Um, but yeah, I've been struggling with sleep a lot lately and so I'm not trying to put too much pressure on myself to come up with extravagant designs. Here we have my little drawing for the day. I hope you guys can see it. That's just a little character I made up. I might end up making all of my little characters that I make up into stickers and do a cute little sticker sheet or something. I just need to put them all together in one little area because they are all scattered about everywhere. But I'm thinking of adding a sticker to So I'm currently looking through my sticker boxes. See what I have. That's cute. That would go cute with that, but there's no room. I have these stars. But I do like these stars better. Maybe I'll add some of these. Mm -hmm. These stickers are cute. Oh, maybe I'll add a bubble. The bubbles are sweet. Mm hmm. 
maybe an opposing color. I just put it right there. Super randomly. And Maybe I'll add mm, maybe I won't add one of these actually. Let's look at these. Let me zoom you out. Just back up. There we go. Mm, these aren't exactly gonna match at all. Maybe I'll just keep it simple and add a few little stars and call it a day. Okay, I think out of all these colors, I'm just going to choose a few little silver stars. I like that there's different sizes. I love stickers. I'm getting really, really into stickers, actually. And I would love to create stickers. So let me know if you guys are interested in my little characters, my bow babies from my clothing line, in um, just some sweet little designs as stickers. Let me know if you're interested and would like to see that on my website. And if you would buy those for your journaling purposes, because I don't like supplying things when there's not a demand. So just comment and then I'll know if you guys are interested in that. I'm just putting a few wherever my heart desires to put them. That one broke. I've been really into writing down my field notes of the day into my journal. I'll give you an example in just a moment. Okay, that is good enough for the little stars. Maybe I'll add more later, but honestly, I'm so tired. But, for example, the other day I wrote in my notes for the day, just field notes of things that I was listening to from a podcast, of things that I had come up with. For example, um, frozen fruit is best served in a warm bath. Um, food will always be there, always, and money. Vulnerability is cool. Silver is my soul color, iridescent to glass. Um, becoming enlightened through work and creation. It's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. And then here's just a random journal entry. And then my friend Anya, she got me these sweet peacock um, vintage postcards. And so I taped them in. This one is like taped in fully. There's nothing under it. But this one is just a little interactive magic. And then this was the letter that she sent with those. This is just some random doodles. And then this is the completed sketch that I was working on in my last Journal With Me video, and then this I'm going to save for either more sketching or some cool notes of sorts, and then this I have some pictures to glue in here, and then it's just been a lot of writing and writing, and this as well, also saved for either more sketches or writing I'm not quite sure yet but when I'm really really proud of a piece I like to put writing that I'm really proud of as well but also sometimes I just keep it casual and I just write random stuff still and then this is from my last journal with me video so that's where I am now I am a bit further along in my journal and this is my entry for the day I hope that you guys enjoyed journaling with me and I am proud of you for showing up in your journal my last clip got cut off, but I just wanted to say again, I'm so proud of you guys, and I am excited to see you in my next Journal With Me video.